This is going to be a look at some Marquise Brown film through four games with the Arizona Cardinals. Had a big touchdown catch against Carolina in week four that put Arizona up 26-10. to Panthers went down and scored, eventually make it 26-16. Tried to onside kick, didn't get it. Pretty much put the game away. Had a 14-catch game, I think, against the Rams. His yards per catch, yards per target are still in line with what he had with the Ravens. I think it's like 11 or 11.8 yards per catch, something like that. So it's not like, you know, the the targets are further down the field consistently, even though this one that I'm going to show you against the Cardinals was. Uh, some good-looking film, if you ask me. Took advantage of the Rams in some off-coverage situations. Of course, we all heard about, you know, Jalen Ramsey wanting to press up on him. I'm not sure that would have been a great idea. There's got to be a reason why teams don't um, press cover Marquise Brown that much, whether he's with the, the Ravens or the Cardinals. So this is that aforementioned catch, this kind of slot fade. Uh, not an easy catch at all. Not bad coverage. Good throw by Kyler Murray, kind of throwing it to that, almost to that back shoulder. And Marquise Brown able to haul it in despite the contact. Get two feet in bounds. It was close. When I originally saw it, I thought, man, did he get his feet down? But he certainly did. End zone angle, same play. You'll catch Marquise Brown a little bit near the end of this clip. Uh, it's not going to be clear here in the beginning. So I'll continually pause this so you can you can get a get an idea of how tough the catch was. And actually gets a little he got a little toe tap with his right foot at at first, and that's what I think the difference was. You see the right foot touched first, then the left, and then the right foot out of bounds. I mean, really close. Great catch, great body control, you know, despite the contact, if you ask me. <clears throat> Against the Rams, a lot of these type routes, these speed outs. Uh, Jalen Ramsey closing, making contact, him still holding on to the football despite the hit. He's up top side of the screen, sorry. A lot of speed outs, deep outs. Did threaten with a vertical uh, at least once in that game. Had an opportunity to make a play downfield. Again, up top of the screen is the X receiver backside. You can see the off coverage by Ramsey. Off coverage down here too, so it's not like you know they're only doing that to Marquise Brown. Um, all game. That's generally what the Rams are doing in these split field coverages. That one's too easy. Obviously, Marquise Brown can do that all day. The thing I like so far about Marquise Brown is like the contact doesn't seem to be bothering him at all. There was a lot of people when he was with the Ravens that complained about, you know, he avoided contact and all these things. Uh, I think there were some times where it was advantageous and it was the smart thing for him to do. In terms of, like, it's going to be a 14-yard gain. Why should I go ahead and take another hit? Let me just go ahead and dive down. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't really have a huge problem with that. Off coverage again, easy completion. You know, but the first completion I showed you, the first catch I showed you against Carolina, you know, that one was quite tough of a catch. So even though we got off coverage here and uncontested catches, uh, he's made some contested catches. You would like to see him close a little bit more on this throw. It's a fourth down, as you can see. Kyler Murray, you know, scrambles out of here a little bit. Marquise Brown is certainly open at first, but Kyler Murray's looking in the other direction. Maybe he thinks he has pressure from that side. Not sure what he's looking for, but he's looking for something. And Marquise Brown is clearly open. You're going to see Ramsey close this down once Kyler Murray commits and once he sees him and then commits to throwing him the football. You'd maybe like to see Marquise Brown come to the ball there, uh, but I think that he believes he's a little more open than he is. So, great play by Ramsey, you know, to get a hand on the football, force the turnover. One of those times when, you know, you'd like to see him close down, a little bit of a missed opportunity. Marquise Brown up at the top. Look at the corners. They're both off. It's not like they're only off on Marquise Brown, a little easy screen. So, I know there were some people online who were like, yeah, he had 14 catches, but all of them were uncontested or screens. I mean, that's not really true, man. There's... There's times where you have off coverage and you take advantage of it. There's times where there's a certain play call in the huddle and they see the off coverage and the quarterback and the receiver have that type of relationship where they go ahead and switch the play and they take advantage of that. That's football. That's sports, man, taking advantage of the opportunities that are there. Trying this like little in and out against Carolina. Gets some contact here at the top of the route and then tries to bring it back. Ball severely underthrown for whatever reason. I think Marquise Brown's got a chance to catch this football if it's thrown over here towards the sideline. The angle is tough because it's from the other hash. You know, it's got to be thrown way out here so Marquise Brown can run on top of it, and it's got to have enough zip so that that DB can't recover. 
This is what, I mean, you can, can you press Marquise Brown? Can you make contact with him? I mean, yes, yeah, sometimes, but sometimes he's just going to run right by you. So I think in a lot of situations for the DBs, it's advantageous for them to be in off coverage so that they don't give up, you know, a big play and they give up stuff like this consistently. A little Z under route where you got the number two releasing vertical, trying to get to the outside of this receiver and then just running the slant or the little underneath route. It's a it's a it's an air raid system. Like these are the types of things that they're gonna do consistently. Those are run plays for them. I'm not saying the Cardinals can't and don't run the ball at all. But those are run plays essentially. Down here at the bottom of the screen, a vertical, you know, opportunity to make a play, ball is, you know, maybe slightly overthrown. But even if you're in off coverage, guy can still beat you because of the speed that he's got. And they drop the boundary side safety down. So it kind of opens up this area of the field between the top of the numbers and the hash. Just unable to take advantage of it, even though he's got a step. When I say boundary side safety, I'm talking about Rupp here. He doesn't help out with the vertical at all. He drops down. And then the front side, field side safety helps with this kind of over concept here. So it just clears out all this space. Wish he'd been able to hit on this one so there was less of that talk of, hey, it was all, you know, speed outs and screens that he caught and nothing really of consequence because it's unfortunate when people say things like that after a guy has a 14 catch game another vertical against carolina you can see there's definitely contact downfield beyond the five yard mark but me personally as a defensive guy like i'm not bothered by those things but i recognize that it certainly impeded marquise brown's ability to try to go up and catch the football kyler murray throws it to him there's the contact there on the top side if you didn't see it you know already the third and two going vertical. You'd almost kind of like to say, hey, let's let's just go ahead and get the first down. We'll slow it down a little bit so you can see a little bit more of the contact. I'm not sure what Kyler Murray thought he saw. I guess he's trying to throw it like a back shoulder fade. Down here at the bottom side again against the Rams. You're going to start to get some in-breaking routes. Comeback routes, that's certainly a difficult catch, right? Contested. I love the route that he's... He didn't get as much push off with this guy as you would maybe expect because of the threat of the vertical, but great catch if you ask me. Got a lot of contact there by the DB at the catch point. He's elevated. I mean, that looks pretty good to me. You let me know what you think. Able to hold on to the football while he's getting pushed out of bounds. Up at the top side of the field. Running all the way across the field against man. Does this little, like, he'll kind of shimmy up field a little bit. I think trying to get that DB to push off, you know, vertical, and then and then he'll bring it back to the sideline. I like that. He's not just running across the field here. He's trying to push this up a little bit just to make this guy's hips orient in this way somewhat so that he, then he can bring it back to the sideline because he knows it's man. At this point, Marquise Brown understands this is man. There's not going to be anyone else for me to deal with down here at the bottom side of the screen. And I, if you ask me, this is, this is Marquise Brown being really smart. This is him understanding if I can get this guy's hips to turn this way just a little bit, when I catch this ball down here, there won't be anyone to deal with. I might be able to turn it upfield. As it is, I think the DB plays it pretty well. I'm trying to explain to you why he's veering vertical after making this in cut. There's the in cut. Why he's veering up there, in my opinion, he's trying to get this guy to turn his hips downfield a little bit more towards the end zone as opposed to the sideline. So when he catches it, you know, that guy's not in that great position. I think it was a great job by the DB. I think it was a great win by Marquise Brown. Had a touchdown catch against the Chiefs in week one when they got blown out. Little in breaking route. Again, up at the top of the screen, by the way. DV opens up, so it's like off, you know, even though he was closer to Marquise Brown, and he just brings it back. Quite easy completion. These are going to be available when you have that much speed, if you ask me, as long as there's some spread, you know, some spread elements to the offense. Bottom side of the screen against the Chiefs again in week one. Their typical flex formation, two by two. Not not part of the target, but Marquis, it's not like Marquise Brown's only running verticals or, or speed outs or screens. There's plenty of routes in his route tree. 
so far. I don't I don't really pay attention to some of that criticism. I mean, I hear it, but I think sometimes people make judgments on players after one or two weeks when you have a limited sample size. And it's like, come on, man, there's there's 15, 16, 17 weeks left in this season uh, for us to show a little bit more advanced route tree than you're describing. Up at the top side of the screen, compressed formation, bringing it across the field. I love this for Marquise Brown. We saw this some with the Ravens. Typically, it was you know Mark Andrews running that little over concept. You got a little bit of a play action fake with Kyler Murray and the running back. And then he's just bringing this over the top of the zone. Looks like a cover three shell pre-snap. Ends up being a zone blitz, three deep, three under, and he takes advantage of it. I feel like he's off to a great start. 45 targets is a lot of targets through four games. Uh, but there's, you know, there's. I think week one he had six targets for four catches. Depends on the situation, depends on the coverage that you see during the games and how the coach and the quarterback and the players adjust to what's happening. Marquise Brown off to a pretty good start. I'm not surprised. I'm sure, you know, most of us that are Ravens fans are not. Certainly had talent. And um, in his in his defense, you know, he th thought he would have been a better fit for the air raid system as opposed to the Ravens kind of hybrid run game, occasional spread offense. Can't say he looks like he was wrong through four weeks. Two touchdowns, uh, 45 targets. If he keeps getting that number of targets and the type of targets we're seeing here, then I think you're going to see him put up big numbers once again. Guys, let me know what you think of Marquise Brown's start to the season in 2022.